Hello, my name is Nathan Chu. As I finished my last year in confirmation, I realized this time has helped me grow and gain a better understanding of my faith and my religion. I was baptized as a baby, and while I do not remember my baptism, I know that my time in confirmation has helped me to better understand the promise of my salvation through God and His Son, Jesus. My baptism has connected me to God, and I know that He will always be there for me. In the same way that the verse I chose reminds me to ask God for help when I'm worried or I am afraid. The Bible verse I've chosen is Psalm 27 1. Lord is my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? Lord is the stronghold of my life, whom shall I be afraid? The book of Psalms is a collection of verses that are sung or recited in worship and help us see, see the true beauty of God and his promises to us. This verse was written by King David when he was dealing with his enemies and other problems. This verse speaks about how David did not depend on himself to solve the problem, but instead called upon the Lord for help. To me, this means that the Lord in our life, we do not have to fear or worry about what is ahead of us. This verse helps me remember to pray and know that the Lord, I do not have to worry or be afraid. Psalm 27.1 tells us that God is always there with us and gives us reassurance. We know that the Lord is always there for us and we don't have to worry or stress about things. We should pray and ask God for help. You do not always have to be your best, but instead try your best. Turning to God in times of fear or concern can help me to be the best I can be. My first track meet helped me see how much this verse can be used in my daily life. When I qualified for my first track meet, I knew I'd run a mile. I worried I would come in last, let my school down, and disappoint my family. When I lined up to run the race, I began doubting my abilities and fearing the outcome. I remember this verse and said it to myself as I took a deep breath, knowing that the Lord had helped me through this race no matter what happened. I should not be afraid. This verse reassured me that I had no reason to worry, because if I asked the Lord for help, he would help me do my best and be me. Just as I feared the outcome of the race when Jesus was in the garden before his crucifixion, he feared what was going to be the outcome, and questioned God. He eventually understands that if he gives his fears about what is going to happen to God and trust him, he will help him through it. This is the same way I was able to run the race to the best of my ability and not allow my fears to get the best of me. There are a lot of things to be fearful about in everyday life. It doesn't have to be a big event or a problem. It can be something small. Knowing this verse and understanding what it means could help me share the meaning with someone who is worried or anxious. I'm glad to be able to finally participate in communion now that I've finished my time in confirmation and have a better understanding of how important communion is. Jesus gave his body and his blood for us on the cross, and I understand now the importance of what it symbolizes in my life. Now that I know Psalm 27.1 and understand what it means, I realize I should not fear, feel fear or be afraid of my life. The Lord is with me and I should think of this verse in the future as a child of God, providing reassurance and safety for me, my family, and my friends. This verse will always be a reminder for me to ask God for help when I feel worried or afraid.